DIY craft. Today we are going to be making our own keyring holder because if you're like me, you constantly lose your keys and you don't know where they are. So might as well um, make a way to organize them. So I have here in front of me and in front of you guys a cardboard box. <laughs> Let me tilt you guys down a little bit. I have here a cardboard box. And this is going to be my painting surface. I have a blank canvas piece of wood. So this is a 2 by 6 piece of wood. You can get these from Lowe's. They'll cut them to size for you if you like. Um, at least some home people in Lowe's will do that if you don't have your own saws or a means for cutting pieces of wood. Um, this is a two by six piece of wood that I've cut to 13 inches long. Um, and on the back side, you'll see I've already kind of messed around with some color schemes. I did a teal and a purple. So I think those are the colors I'm going to be working with here. So in order to make your key ring, you're going to need a couple of things. A piece of wood. Again, scrap wood works great. If you don't have access to a saw, or a means for cutting things, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's. Usually they'll cut it to size for you. This is a 13 inch piece. Um, it's totally possible that they might actually have some scrap wood back there as well. If you wanna get super talented and creative, pallet wood is wonderful because it's got that rustic look to it. And you can just basically cut them to size, piece them together however you like. And then the most important thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need something to hook your keys to your piece of wood so here i have a c screw or a c ring or i'm not really quite sure what they call these things but it's basically a hook that i'm going to put into my piece of wood that'll hold the keys on it um and i have several of these in my pocket <laughs> so i'll show you guys how to install these on this piece of wood but first off right now i have this really bland piece of wood and i want to do something fun with it because this is going to be my key ring so couple of things you can do is obviously you can write the words keys um you could write home sweet home you can write pretty much whatever you want so you can either design your own stencil which is what i have gone ahead and done or you can buy a stencil at um, michael's and basically hand paint it so i'm cheating because i don't want to do a 45 minute video with you guys i'm just going to do a quick 10 minute video so i've gone ahead and taped my stencil to the other side of this wood. And it's basically just my future last name and <laughs> my future date of marriage. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down here so you guys can see it pretty clearly. I might bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. And I have a scrap piece of cardboard here. So this cardboard I'm gonna use because I'm gonna do a two-tone color here. Um, the first half is going to be in that teal color that I showed you guys on the back here. And the other half is going to be in purple. So the top half is gonna be in teal and the bottom is gonna be in purple. So we're gonna go ahead and spray that. So bear with me for a moment. You guys gonna deal with me spraying stuff pretty good. Let's do this this way. And basically, there's a couple of options to do with stencils. When you do stencils, you just gotta, um, depending on the wood that you're using, depends on whether or not the stencil is gonna work out really well or not. Um, and the wind factor is also a big thing, especially when spray painting. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this at a quite a big distance. So I don't wanna totally saturate it here. I'm gonna wait a minute. I painted my fingers. Those are good. So this is very similar to um, the rug that we did. And I'll actually, I'm gonna show you guys another rug that I did. All right, so while this layer is drying, I'm gonna go show you guys the C hook that we're working with here. So I have this hook right here. 
And this is what we're going to hang the um, keys from. And once again, I'm going to show you guys how to install these. It's really, really simple. There is two options for putting these on. You can use no tools whatsoever aside from just this. Or you can make your life a little bit easier and um, use a drill bit. So I'm going to show you guys both of those techniques. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so you guys can see it. So right now, completely saturated the top part. Fairly easy, you're doing this just like you would any other stencil. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. I'm gonna tilt this up a little and do my purple. Alrighty, so looks like take a quick look at it. Make sure that the wood seems to be pretty colored. I don't see any wood shining through my stencils, so I think we're pretty good here. So we're gonna go on inside and we're gonna take a look and see how we did here. All right, so let's relocate because it's cold outside. We bring you guys inside. Leave that outside for half a second so I can come inside, set you guys up, grab this stool over here. Bear with me for a minute while we get you guys all set up. All right. Hang out here for two seconds. Let me go grab the stencil. For part two, I have here the stencil. Sorry guys, I have to deal with my loud noises. So I'm gonna take this apart and tilt you guys down so you guys can see it. So I have here the stencil. We're gonna go ahead and slowly peel this back. We'll do this up here. We'll see if it ran. Sometimes the wood will make it run a little bit. We're hoping that that didn't happen. Looks like it did a little bit, but that's okay. So we're just going to slowly peel this back for the big reveal. It came out pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Move the tape. Move this part. All right, so basically I'm gonna peel back as much of this as I can so I can show you guys how to do the screws part. So the stencil was made with a vinyl sticker. Basically you just stick it on, spray paint it, and hope for the best. Not too bad though. It didn't bleed as bad as I thought it would. Um, depending on the wood you use, depends on how much that spray paint is going to run. It really doesn't matter what paint you use. It's it's dependent completely on the wood and whether or not that wood grain is going to pick it up. And it looks like it did a little bit. So just going to peel this off. You guys can see it pretty good. Do you say so? It came out pretty awesome. So if you guys have been following along, I use stencils quite often. Um, the last stencil I used with you guys, I showed you guys how to make a really cool core rug. Um, and I made a couple of them since then. So I'll show you guys my rug when we're done. All right, so we're going to leave that as is. I'm going to take these little pieces off with um the screws here so we're just going to kind of take that screw and see if we can peel that up a little there's just a little bit of paint in here there we go 
There we go. So cool. Same thing. I'm just going to peel that back up a little. And then I'm not too worried about these marks because I can just sand these down. Same thing here. Peel that up. All these little pieces are kind of the pain in the butt. They're the bane of your stencil existence. Um, so this might be the benefit to using a plastic stencil that you get from Michaels or whatever. But I'd say it came out pretty awesome. Alrighty. So you get the gist here. I'll leave that there. I have in my back pocket, I have a ruler and in my hair, I have a pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark off. I want my, um, my holes to be kind of somewhere down the bottom here. This is how it's gonna hang up. So I probably wanna keep it maybe at like the half inch mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark at my half inch from the bottom and then go ahead and go over here, make a mark at my half inch from the bottom. And I'm gonna connect my two lines right about there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a key hole every inch, so every number. So I can hang quite a few keys here. So that's kind of where it should be. I mean, depending on how large your keys are, you might want to do a little more or a little less, but I think that's pretty good because that's going to allow me to do a little bit. So I might do every other hole. I'll do this one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'll have six rings. So again, these are super simple, super easy to work with. You can totally cheat and just go ahead and screw these in directly just by applying a little bit of pressure and twisting. Um, depending on the wood that you're working with is going to depend on how easily this actually goes in. So this is completely dependent on how much pain and suffering you want to torture yourself with. So this, you can, again, do this completely, no tools necessary. They're kind of self-screwing in. Or you can go ahead and cheat a little bit and start a pre-hole. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in this drill. Just pre-drill it a little bit. And then you're going to take your hook, and then that'll just make it easier to turn once you have that pre-hole. And then that's it. You're gonna put a bunch of these in, go in as far as you can. And so basically you'll end up having a bunch of these hooks all the way down. So bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and drill in a couple of these and drill in a little bit further there. again, just screw it right on in. And once you get it going, that's pretty much it. Just make sure it's nice and straight. And you'll do your next one. So you drill it right there. Same thing. You're just going to drill your hole and go ahead and twist these right on in. So, I'm not going to do all of these because I got to wait for this to dry. 
So you'll end up having a bunch of these hooks on the bottom. This is how you'll keep your keys on your key ring. So that's pretty much it. Make your sign, make your stencil, put these lovely things in. And then the last thing that you're gonna wanna do, especially if you're gonna use this key ring all the time, is you're gonna wanna clear coat this with something, some kind of protective surface coat. Um, you have a couple of options. You can use a polyurethane. Um, this is basically just a clear coat. The benefit of this polyurethane is it goes on white, but it dries clear. So you know that you've actually coated the whole piece of wood. Um, you can also use a oil-based polyurethane that's totally po possible that works just as well. Um, it really is ultimately up to you guys what you want to use. Um, if you're not in the mood to do a stencil and you just want to do something, feel free to take a permanent marker or some acrylic paint and make your own version of your stencil. Just make sure that you use these hooks or a nail and then ta-da, you have a way to keep all your keys together. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this very short, very exciting video on how to make your own key ring. Um, like I promised, I was gonna show you guys the stencil that I did um, for the other core rug that I did. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, go back in the videos and you can see um, the sample of the core rug that I did um, and showed you guys how to do it. But this is the one I've made recently. Not sure. Well, that's pretty cool. That's the core rug. And basically it's just your own stencil and um, you want to use a specific flex seal paint. Uh, that'll allow you to wipe your feet on it and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful, very short DIY craft on how to make your own key holder. If you make one at home with a really cool, funny sign or a really pretty artistic flair, please share it in the comments and let us know how it turned out. Um, until then, I will see you guys all next week for future awesome crafts.